So man, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Haru's Reacts. It is I, MOE 5713. We're back with another episode. Yeah, man. If you're new to the channel, guys, go ahead, please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification sign so you'll be notified on my future future uploads, guys. All right, but anyway, let's get started with the BS, bro. We got an interesting video today. Uh, you're gonna want to watch the whole thing, but I just want to go through everything that's going on right now and beginning with the the whole Jeffrey Epstein update. All right, I'm gonna give you a Jeffrey Epstein update. A lot of things are happening that uh are being shoved under the rug and not the main media really is not covering this so uh, they're not really showing this on tv so so anyway let's get started right now let's go to this first article all right let's see what it says london police to review allegations of epstein and maxwell abuse girls in the uk no shit i mean their other homeboy prince andrew was there all right so now out of nowhere the the london police wants to review allegations that they said they've been shoving under the rug for decades yeah okay British police are investigating shocking new accusations that Ghislaine Maxwell and late pedo uh, Jeffrey Epstein trafficked, groomed, and even raped numerous girls in the UK. You wouldn't say, huh? Uh, London's Metropolitan Police confirmed to the Post that it will review the explosive allegations which aired Tuesday as a Channel 4 investigation part of which focused on the complaints about the force's own lack of action because, you know, they did it. I mean, come on, man. You think the police are going to actually do something about it if one of the prince of the UK is involved in this shit? It's going to be swept under the rug. All right. The special unearthed more than a half a dozen claims that the young women and girls were allegedly targeted, trafficked, groomed, or abused by the pair over a period lasting more than a decade. All right. The true number may be much higher, the host says. The most significant allegations uh, include serious sexual assault and rape, uh, noting that none led to a full investigation. It was also... Oh, here you go, the little buddy old pals, huh? Mr. Epstein and Andrew. Damn, bro, he could be real rich. He still got them them shoes, huh? Damn. Uh, the, one of the women that are accusing him said, uh, I was terrified. I was telling him to stop. The evidence came from a combination of publicly available documentations, including court papers, as well as witness accounts and interviews. Uh, Epstein, who killed himself in Manhattan, federal lockup in 2019, was allegedly aided and abetted by the, his British partner, Ghislaine Maxwell. They say she is a monster. She's a monster. She's worse than Epstein. One unseen woman can be heard saying, The pair were known to have made trips to London with flight logs showing at least 51 trips in and out on the multimillionaire Epstein's private planes, including his so called Lolita Express. Uh, the pals were also visitors at the royal residence, including uh, Balmoral. Uh, Windsor and Sandra Gam. One accuser, Virginia Roberts, has repeated alleged that she was forced to have sex with Prince Andrew when she was just 17 in 2001. All right, but uh, despite the pleas uh, from Jufre and her legal team, London's Metropolitan Police never opened a full investigation, a move that the force has repeatedly stood by. A former uh, leading UK prosecutor ripped the decision as concerning. From what I've seen, there is clearly enough evidence for the police to investigate more thoroughly than they have done up to now. So he suggested that the perception here is a different approach was taken in relation to these alleged offenses, potentially because Epstein and Maxwell were close ties with Mr. Andrew. The Met Police a spokesperson confirmed to the Post that it would review the information while insisting it still stands by its statements, justifying the decision to not fully investigate the initial allegations. I mean, they're just protecting these pets, bro, at the end of the day. All right, so it goes to say officers assess the available evidence, interview the complaint, and obtain early investigative advice from Crime Prosecution Services, authorities said. For the Crime Prosecution Service, bro, how are they going to investigate themselves? It's not going to work. The, UK, the police department ain't going to be able to do nothing if they're investigating their own, you know what I'm saying, one of their own leaders. It's not going to work. However, following the legal advice, it was clear that any investigation into human trafficking would be largely focused on activities and relationships outside of the UK. The police ultimately made the decision that the matter would not proceed to a full criminal investigation. I mean, they just keep bullshitting, bro. At the end, they just bullshitting. It seems like nothing's going to happen there. They're protecting them. Look, there's another article here that says Epstein was in a pedal. How British Fox News copycats launch turned into disaster. So they claim that he was in a pedal. Oh. Oh, here's another one. Jeffrey Epstein accuser sues for $500 million after developing bone disease. How did she develop bone disease? Let's see. Jeffrey Epstein accuser sues for $500 million after developing bone disease. 27-year-old woman who claims she was raped by Jeffrey Epstein is suing the late pedal estate for half a billion dollars, alleging that she has serious bone disease stemming from his brutal attack, according to a report. Damn, she got beat that bad, huh? 
uh, what was it? Caroline Kaufman, who last year said that she was left suicidal after being raped by the billionaire at his Manhattan mansion during a fake model casting when she was 17. She developed osteomyelitis after he hit her in the face. The rare and serious bone disease caused deep pain and muscle spasms, according to the news outlet. Kaufman alleges that woman approached her at a horse show in upstate Lake Placid and later called to invite her to Epstein's Upper East side home where she was also forced to give him oral sex at a party attended by prince andrew damn what last year kaufman announced that she filed a lawsuit against epstein's estate telling the news outlet that she was left severely suicidal after an alleged rape uh in this manhattan mansion during a fake model casting uh she also said she be she believed the duke of new york's pal gazlaine maxwell took nude pictures of her in the mansion. The victim's fund was given a total of $87 million, but Epstein's net worth was estimated to be more than $600 million, so her lawyer, Spencer Cuban, or Coven, is seeking about $500 million, according to the report. It's been difficult for these past few months, and I was going to go with the fund offer was too low. I mean, she wanted more money. All right, now this is like a money grab, but still. She also said the jaw issue is caused by an injury in the past. When I had an encounter with Epstein, he pinned me down and went to grab my arm Kaufman continued, he forced my arm as he did, and he nicked my jaw. It's the only thing I could think of which had caused this, she added. I didn't tell anyone at the time, but uh, I didn't want to explain what happened. Kaufman said she has suffered with a jaw issue for years, but claimed that it has recently worsened and she received her diagnosis, adding that she is scheduled for surgery this month, and it is extremely painful. I mean, this was kind of sketchy, but I doubt she's going to win this case. I mean, she I hope she has more evidence than this. Yeah, man, so I guess that's a little update about the whole Epstein situation. In my opinion, guys, uh, it just shows how corrupted police officers and you know, the government over there in the UK and uh, the lengths they're willing to will silence everybody and uh, just keep everybody quiet and not prosecute and just throw everything under the rug. All right. And this is exactly what is happening. Once again, I mean, these people will go at full lengths to protect themselves and, and just murder, bro. And just keep everybody quiet and silence. I mean, just uh, like Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton is out here in a murdering spree right now. He's killing all reporters. He was, he's killing everybody. Just recently did a video about him uh, off and off another reporter. I mean, if you had not see that video, go check it out in my last video. I mean, basically, he was, uh, they were caught uh, talking to the attorney general that was uh, the one that was going to charge Hillary Clinton for, for those disturbing emails. And, you know, he was the whistleblower and he got killed. All right. But then it goes to my second story, bro. Second story. I mean, we need reporters out here, uh, real reporters that will go against the grain. But unfortunately, the main media, bro, the big corps are going to go after them. All right. And I want to. Uh, point this out with this this woman bro this other reporter here in my hometown of houston texas bro she went against the grain all right and this was in fox in fox news she was a fox news reporter and uh she basically exposed the big corporations bro now y'all might say oh fox is this and that both the left media and the right media bro they, they all take commands from the higher-ups at the end of the day they're gonna try to silence you and this was basically what this reporter did she went out she actually went on there and and said that they were silencing her. Yes, that's right. Before we get to that story, I want to let you, the viewers, know that Fox Corp has been muzzling me to keep certain information from you, the viewers. And from what I'm gathering, I am not the only reporter being too subjected to this. I am going to be releasing some recordings about what goes on behind the scenes at Fox because it applies to you, the viewers. I found a nonprofit journalism group called Project Veritas. It's going to help put that out tomorrow, so tune into them. She was going to expose everything and uh, expose her higher ups. And she did that, bro. She did that. She got some big cojones. Kind of exposed how the media is silencing reporters and just uh, taking orders from the higher ups of what stories do they get to be pushed in the media and what's to be silenced and repressed and just ignore everybody. You know, because we have a bunch of questions that the media just pretends, oh, they ignore it and they just go off and, and talk about different shit. All right. And they ignore the, the, the big topic stories, bro. She just exposed this shit. Uh, I don't even know how to react to it. I'm going to let y'all uh, watch it. Uh, here it goes right here. It's the story of how Fox was forced to retract defamatory internal smears against a reporter after the reporter covered the facts on the ground that contradicted the narrative. August 10th, 2020, Fox sent me to cover COVID treatment at United Memorial Medical Center. This was the final question in the interview and the final soundbite in the TV package. That's a, you know, that's a great question. And the answer is yes, we have used it. I mean, we know that it's a drug that has been politicized up to the wazoo. Uh, we've used it, we use it with good success, we know that there is a lot of controversy, but one of the problems that we have is that we use a lot of things. We literally throw the whole kitchen sink at these patients because they are so sick. So sometimes you don't know exactly what makes the difference. But we have used uh, hydroxychloroquine in some of our patients 
and they have done well. Minutes before air, Lee tells me to drop the sound about hydroxychloroquine because it needs the context of other drugs. I did that and put it on Facebook instead, adding the requested context. The fact that the sound reached the audience's ears at all led to this reaction from Fox bosses Susan Schiller and Lee Meyer. You need to cease and desist posting about hydroxychloroquine. Everything's going to be under the microscope. You're not posting anything without Susan or I signing off on it. Industry executives who are the people who hire us and keep us employed. That's the part that needs to make a difference to real. It's not just about the viewers. It's about what our CEO reads. It's about what our GM reads. And like Lee said, it's not about the viewers right now. So the truth of what's happening in Houston is that whether anyone likes it or not, regardless of the studies, doctors are secretly prescribing hydroxychloroquine. I started to expose that because all my sources were sending me the tips about it. I would like to speak to your bosses and explain that to them. I just want them, I want your bosses to know. Ivory, we took, the assistant news director told you to remove material from a news story that was going on air. I took exactly what Lee told me to do, added the context of what else he uses, and exposed him. First off, you assumed you knew all the context that was referring to, which you didn't because you missed half my point. But my point is, we're not going to really have the conversation with hydrochloroquine. We're just not. You're going to stay as far away from that as possible. They have seen the reports. They've seen the original reports. They know what you reported, Ivory. It's not, it's not whether they're questioning whether you were lying or seeking somebody out. It's about the attention garnered by this kind of BS that the company does not want. We are here to tell you that your professional reputation it is what we are trying to protect. And Susan has been abundantly clear that your post will be about news and will be about things that we determine are safe news for you to post right now. I then followed Susan and Lee's orders to lock down my social media and no longer speak publicly of COVID drug treatments. Three weeks later, they presented me with a defamatory letter of warning they'd placed in my file with Fox, which would taint my ability to move up in the company. The letter changed timelines and created a false narrative that my bias about the drug was causing me to apparently ignore management instructions. I wanted to meet because I would like the letter with false information removed from my file. But I'm trying to actually help you in some ways, you know, kind of get through this period. But um, writing false stories about me and putting them in my file does not help me. It hurts me immensely. We are taking everything you've said into consideration. The letter said that you, in July, you told me to stop covering COVID treatments. You didn't tell me until August 14th to stop, and that's when I stopped. I have been loyal to what you tell me to do, and the letter says otherwise. Susan Lee and Tracy, the HR director, tried to blame a gossip blog for their actions. It's very That's clear true. that you're very That's concerned about true. a gossip site That's not that true. none of our viewers read. Just so you know, Fox is extremely sensitive about a gossip site. You may not care about it, but this company does. And because this company does, that means everybody on this call should care about it. Fox changed their tone after I brought on a defamation lawyer. We have some, you know, differences here and how we kind of uh, hurt each other. We are uh, basically withdrawing the letter of warning, all right, because our goal is never to have you interpret that as an exercise in wanting you to be terminated. We want you to be part of our team. But the letter of warning has been destroyed. I mean, it has been shredded. We no longer have it in your file. I read the waters of social media are complicated. They get more and more complicated all the time. And the waters of Fox, you mean? The waters of Fox media. are complicated. Yeah. The waters of social media get complicated. And we want to work with you. We want this to, you know, we realize that you don't agree with maybe my opinion here, but it's how I see it. You guys are continuing to push this idea that I'm somehow biased about some drug 
that I'm not interested in taking, that I'm not interested in telling people to take, but I am interested in answering people's questions about it because the public wants to know what the heck is going on with this drug, especially when it's being censored so harshly. What's the actual deal? Let's dig deeper because it is such a hot topic right now. That's what I'm interested in is exploring what's going on with this drug. Am I trying to tell people to take it? No. Am I trying to get some answers on it? Yes. You don't want me to get answers on it anymore, so I won't. Okay, but you trying to imply that I am somehow pushing and peddling this drug that I didn't even pay attention to until I was assigned to cover it is so offensive to me. After shredding the defamatory letter, Fox sent me a memo telling me to correct my problematic social media. They kept me banned from covering COVID drug treatments. So am I still banned? And why did you want to hide information from the viewers? Ivory, I'm not going to rehash this. I can't change how you take it. I would like you to keep an open mind about why we may not be pursuing a story, why we may be saying we need more research, why we may be saying we need somebody to go on camera because we need the proof. Okay, I'm just saying I've had people on camera and I've gotten in trouble for that. (sighs) Stunning. I mean, at the end of the day, guys, uh, this is the type of reporter that we need, bro. But unfortunately, uh, the media and the big corporations, bro, they're going to try anything to do to silence everybody now. Basically, the more of the story, bro, I just want to show you how much they're willing to uh, uh, go after their own reporters to silence them, bro. I mean, it's crazy, bro. They even made up a fake story about her. They're willing to uh, lie and, and smear her, her image, and uh, until she tried to, she threatened to sue for defamation. I mean, they backed back. They, they backed out. I mean, she really went after their, their throats, bro. But at the end of the day, she she was fired. I mean, pretty much she was fired, uh, terminated. But uh, she better watch out, bro. She's going to end up like the, the other news reporter, uh, accidentally committed suicide. All right. Uh, when you go this much against the grain, shit happens. The media companies, bro, they work together and, co- and coincide together to push a certain narrative that will enrage you, bro. It's, this is psyops. This is what's called psyops. This is, this is exactly what they're doing. I mean, I just want to bring you this story, bro, because this does not happen regularly. I mean, this woman has a, a big following on uh, Instagram. She has a big following and a lot of people listen, bro. We're not just doing a, a tour uh, exposing this shit and before anything happens to her. But uh, we're, we're going to see what happens later on in the future, you know, because even that guy that exposed Bill Clinton, they didn't get him till like three years, no, four years later, five years later. It's pretty sick, bro. I mean, eventually they're going to they're gonna try to get you. Anyway, let me know what you think about that. I think it's just a feel good story about how she came and uh, exposed the media. But anyway, let's get to the last topic, bro. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of update of what's happening with, over there in the network of Nickelodeon. All right, because we know in the last past month or this month, uh, Pride Month, all right, they're going full, they're going hard uh, trying to promote this this shit to the little kids, bro, this trans songs, the Blues Clues, and, and all these little shows, but guess what, it backfired on them, bro, let's read the story a little bit, uh, Nickelodeon ratings crash as the network celebrates Pride Month with a special video, Nickelodeon is facing major setback as its ratings uh, continually fall amidst the network's hard push to promote the LGBT inclusion agenda, Nickelodeon's ratings have plunged uh, marginally in the wake of its latest content receiving a backlash from the audience, Nickelodeon has been called out by a part of its audience members for its hard push to promote the LGBTQ agenda. According to into some parents, the network's attempt to push this uh, LGBT community inclusive content is causing a negative impact on the children. As a result, uh, the channel's ratings has taken a negative impact. According to several reports, Nickelodeon has dropped more than two-thirds of its audience in the past five years. Damn. In the last two weeks, both Nickelodeon and its preschool's targeted network, Nick Jr., re- received major backlash from the audience for releasing videos co- uh, championing trans, queer, and pansexual inclusion. However, the major attack on the network began after Nickelodeon's page posted the video song The Meaning of Pride featuring the drag queen Nina West. Uh, the video saw drag queen Nina West singing about his various colors and their representation in the LGBT pride. I mean... Let's watch it just a little bit. Just to give you a little. I, red means life because living is a heal the world. I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's what the network gets for trying to push the shit on kids, bro. I mean, people are waking up. I mean, I guess it's some kind of good news for you guys, all right? But anyway, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this topic and all the rest of the topics that I talked about. And uh, yeah, man, this is MWE for the 713. I guess I'm going to see you on the next episode, guys. Bam.